Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Rad Kutarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. Alright, so this is going to be an Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon and as well Aquarius Rising. A weekly tarot reading October 7th to October 13th, 2019. And uh, bear with me just a second guys to shuffle the tarot cards. And uh, we can jump right into it. Okay, so uh, the first card which stands for the topic of your week Aquarius is going to be the Eight of Swords, followed by the next one which represents the challenges that you need to overcome here, that is going to be the Four of Pentacles. Then it is the positive aspect of your week here, that is going to be the Knight of Pentacles. And then the last one which stands for the guidance that the Tarot is offering to you, that is going to be the Three of Wands. All right, so before we jump into picking up the cards one by one, let's run them down one more time. The topic and the theme of your week is going to be the Eight of Swords, followed by the next one, which stands for the challenges that you need to overcome. We do have the Four of Pentacles. Afterwards, is going to be the Knight of Pentacles sitting as a positive aspect for your week. And the last one here that is going to be the Guidance. <clears throat> which tarot is offering to you. All right, so um, Eight of Swords, in your case, is going to be catalyzed by the King of Pentacles. Very interesting. So we do have an, an active enemies here. And in generally, the week is going to be a bit rough. That is for a reason being is because you may end up in a, a dead end situation, especially as we do have the King of Pentacles, which means that you can invest way too much than you need to in either a relationship, in either career endeavors, you know, or in something which will make you incapable to withdraw from it because you have already invested and now you are, you have to you know, you have to play by the rules, you have to stay there, you have to be attached to that situation. So it's very important here to understand that whatever situation you're finding yourself at, that you are uh, <clears throat> defining it as a dead end situation, as a non-beneficial situation, it is because you made it that way. And in order for you to break free from it, you need to understand that those limitations of yours are self-imposed limitations and they are withholding or kind of like they are stopping up your unfoldment and your growth. In other words, with these two cards, it's uh, something that I love to say in general. It is that if the uh, truth makes you free, then what the denial of it makes you, right? Uh, important thing to be said here with these two cards as well, Aquarius, is that you need to think not two times before you act, but maybe quadruple, all right? It's very, very important. And as well, do not be, uh, how can I say it, self-absorbed, in, self, um, in a sense of thinking only for yourself, because this is going to be used... Um, as a weapon towards you. Probably many uh, beautiful things will be promised to you with no intentions whatsoever to be kept. So once again, be 
uh, grounded and be objective. Do not act on a, um, a basis of temptation or a basis of an, an emotional exploit that others may put in uh, upon you or oppress upon you. Important thing to understand here it is the charity doesn't lead anywhere, right? And uh, only thing uh, that actually um, works is if you have an, an a, um, well-written contract, let's say, or well-established deal that very well says and it, and it is a, a legally obliged for what you're going to get at the end and how much you have to pay for it, either career-wise or either relationship-wise. So the next one, it is in regards to the challenges that you need to overcome, and that is going to be the Four of Pentacles, and it is accompanied by the King of Swords, the uh, formation, it is a, a passive enemies. So the, the previous one was active enemies. Here we do have a passive enemy. So what this kind of uh, expresses well for, for starters, uh, difficult times to uh, hold on to your proven concepts and to defend your things. Um, the, the King of Swords here to the Four of Pentacles leads to the awareness or to the understanding that uh, how can I place it that the moves you do or rather like the actions you take are not the most effective thing that you can do. The way I see it really it is that this time or you need to learn to say no, this is the way that I am seeing it. Okay, a friend comes to you for a favor, you need to learn to say no if that favor is not going to do you any favor. All right. A uh, co-worker comes for you for a help, you need to learn to say no if that help is going to slow down your project and so on and so forth. And again, it, it involves investment, investment of your time, investment of your emotions, investment maybe as well of your money. So no investments whatsoever throughout the week because those investments are going to once again undermine your possessions here. It's all about sustaining, consolidating your possessions, your wealth, your relationship, your career, and securing it, ensuring a, a consistent future or a certain future, I would say. That is going to be the challenge for you to uh, ensure a, a certain future upon your current work, upon your current relationship. And why? Because you promised something without thinking about it, because you invested into someone or into something without thinking about it, and so on and so forth. <clears throat> or you have been deceived, deceived to do so. So do not take everything for a pure coin. Here with the Four of Pentacles and the King of Swords, you do have the sharp mind to foresee through the uh, through the situation, to to pick up or to foresee what is wrong in there. All right, and only oh, it, it, it only thing that may um, put you into that. Uh, dead end situation or self-imposed limitations is if you um, don't pay attention to those logical conclusions that you're going to come up with. So uh, the next card here, it's going to be the positive aspect of the week. And we do have the Knights of Pentacles catalyzed by the Five of Pentacles. Extraordinary combination in this follow-up. It means that you are not alone in this. There will be that man, most likely, it could be as well a woman, that is going to see how big danger, how wh what kind of a big danger, danger, blah, 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 danger you are walking yourself into, and for good or bad, for the better or worse, they will accompany you throughout the end or throughout the whole thing up at the end, up and uh, up until the very end. Uh, regardless of what kind, what your decision is going to be. Why? Because the Knights of Pentacles, it's loyal. <clears throat> It's uh, very well, um, how, how can I say it? It's mature, it's well found, right? I mean, they, they, they kind of like pick up already their, their, their side. They very well know what they want, how they want it, how they are going to achieve it. And for one or another reason, you are falling into that equ equation. That could be, you can be something that, something that they want or someone that they want. That could be very well, you know. Uh, and an X, because the Knights of Pentacles in some cases does represent jumping into the old branches of love, all right? Your ex comes around, save you from that situation or help you through that situation. 
situation. Because with this rock solid combo here, uh, Aquarius, it looks like that you are not alone. You don't have to be alone, okay? Into, uh, into this um, struggle to look outside of the box and to once again recognize and acknowledge the truth and the truth in this case it is that you are guilty of finding yourself in this place i mean it is not oh, someone else's fault i mean as much as it's someone else's fault it is your fault as well and you have to fix it with whatever you can but first once again <clears throat> you need to do whatever it takes to consolidate your current possessions and to secure your savings, your funds, uh, your family, you know, and your career as well. So your your priorities or your yeah your tasks goes first. They are your priorities, not your husband's, uh, not not your uh, neighbor's tasks, not your co-workers' tasks, not your friends' tasks. Your tasks should take priority here and. If you are done with them, okay, and you have nothing else to do, then you can turn on into someone else. Uh, and the last one here, it uh, refers to the um, guidance that Tsar is offering, and that is the Tree of Wands accompanied with the Tree of Cups. It's uh, active enemies, and it's uh, it very well um, consolidate what I said up until now, because the Tree of Wands, it is about sitting on any solid pattern, solid foundations, and you are to, you have to build those foundations. Because otherwise, your growth is blocked, the foundation into your family, the foundation into your career as well. Because the growth from here, the, the, the unfoldment that you are seeking goes only through um, challenging yourself with the future endeavors, going for more. And how you can go for more if you are dealing with someone else's business? You can't. It's simple as that. So your business comes first for uh, this week. And that is very well displayed here once again a active enemies your vision should not be the vision of the rest all right your cooperation there there is no cooperation with the rest apart from the knights of pentacles but the knights of pentacles does want to help you they do not share your agenda they don't want to use you they want to help you and their help is going to come as a unconditional support they ain't going to ask for anything in return their help is not going to devour your time their help is not going to require your money so this is how you're going to know what that who that person is the rest they will ask for your time they will ask for your um professional uh, performance, for example, they will ask as well for your money and so on and so forth. And it is something that you need to decline. So you, at the end of the day, you need to learn to say no when you see that the endeavor in front of you that you have been proposed, it's not something that you are going to end up winning something in return, all right? Or winning, winning even more than you have invested in return. <clears throat> that, of course, is going to... Uh, make some people closing themselves emotionally towards you and in some extreme cases some people may start talking bullshit behind your back and that should be less of your concern you the wolf does not concern himself with the opinion of the sheep so be the wolf do not be the prey okay so that being said, Aquarius, this was your weekly title reading October 7 to October 13, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys. And uh, we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.